Hey guys, Pro Baller 14 here, and um, today I'm gonna do a couple reviews. I'm gonna see if I can do this show all in one. Uh, first off, we're gonna do the uh, dye do rag. Um, just got this in from ANS Gear today. Uh, I was gonna do the re reviews on these earlier, but I wanted to kind of test them out. So I was running around with this on um, in the basement doing drills on the snake. It seemed to absorb sweat really well. It's this is all mesh right here, so it's very very soft mesh, kind of like Under Armour type thing. And uh, here you got a soft padding for the forearm, Velcro fits really really well. It's uh, soft, so it feels good on your head, and it's adjustable for any size with the Velcro. On the other side you got camo and you got some padding on the uh, head. So that if you get shot in the forehead, it won't hurt as much. But definitely, uh, 12 bucks, not bad. Um, I would have expected it to be a little bit longer, but I have a big head, so um, that's why it doesn't really fit me that well. Other than that, great design. It fits really well. Feels good with the mask on. Um, come with a uh, die sticker. Let me get my hopper off here. Oh yeah, I forgot to do the, uh, I'll throw that one in too. I got my Halo shell in today. Uh, there's the die sticker. The uh, Halo shell, uh, first impressions, looks like it has cracks all over it, but um, really, those are just flaws in the paint because it's silver. This isn't really meant for the Invert 2. It definitely dampens the sound if I turn this on, it's on uh, volume setting 6 and it only heard about half of those when normally it would detect them all. So it dampens the sound but definitely a ton lighter. I mean this is insane how light this thing is compared to uh, the, other, um, the other Halo shell that came stock with it. Fitting the board in was a pain in the butt because it wasn't designed necessarily for the Invert 2 I could tell. Uh, so it didn't fit quite right, right, but after some forcing it in, it'll fit now. Now to clean it, I'm just taking the speed feed off and slapping the towel in. Um, once a year, I'll probably take it off to clean it. But, I mean, this thing is hard to take off. As you see, it doesn't fit right on the feed neck or the battery do uh, door. doesn't fit too right on it. And the screws seem to be a little short when I try to put them in, but uh, they're all in now. Um, it seems like a durable shell, but like I said, the flaws in the paint didn't make me too happy with it. It is white, and I like the color, so that's what I do like about it. Oh, another thing, the jewel right here came to me, and it was right here, so I hot glue gunned it back on. So, bad uh, glue used on the jewels. <coughs> Other than that, there's really no problems with this. I like this loader. It fits good in my clamping feed deck. Excellent, excellent. Uh, $10. I'd say it'd be better if you actually had a Halo. <coughs> Sorry. I think it's because I had the uh, Invert 2. doesn't really fit right. But whatever got it to fit. Next review, we're going to do the Planet Eclipse Distortion Elbow Pads. They come in a nice padded, kind of, uh, not padded, sorry, mesh case bag. So it is a nice little carrying bag. Um, it shows all the specs on the back. Foamed EVA, vented neoprene, secure thumb loop. Uh, the only size they had was size large, so I got a size large. Um, really nice. Even though they are large, the only part that's really big on it is the uh, bicep and the elbow pads. They fit pretty well. Um, show you here. Fit good. You know, a couple times through the wash, maybe it'll sh uh, shrink them up. But I know the camera zoomed, and you might not be able to see it this well. But it, this is really tough foam right here. Uh, definitely gonna cause a lot of breaks. All right here, soft, soft mesh. You have some Kevlar right here, and Under Armour type stuff right in between here. But um, very good. You got some mesh in here. Yeah, you're playing Eclipse logo. These things feel really nice. 
Uh, I know this is large, but they kind of restrict your mobility uh, otherwise, but I think I just have to break them in because it is such tough foam. Um, as you see, it's a little big there. But other than that, really great elbow pads. Um, I'm going to go out this weekend, and I'm going to be playing a little bit. Or Sorry, next weekend. This weekend, I'm going to be uh, gone in Ohio. But next weekend, I'm going to play, and I'm going to uh, give you a full review on this stuff. Uh, right now, it's kind of a little showcasing of first thoughts. But I can definitely tell these are going to cause a lot of bounces. I don't know how good they're going to fit under the Draxis jersey. Maybe I just won't wear a jersey. Um, but definitely nice, nice uh, form elbow pads. The last thing I got from AS Gear were these uh, pods. They're the Gen X Global Pods. Hold 140 rounds. Um, really tough to open up. As you see, not the easiest to open up. No problem with it, but I think after wearing it down, it'll get better. Um, pretty durable. I like the color. Uh, what can I say? It's a pod. It's kind of hard to compare it to something like the uh, die lock lid or the uh, the view loaders. This is a paintballgear.com out of the field. This is a uh, view loader pod. So, all pods are different, but this is just a Genex Global. I picked up one to mention it. Um, so, please subscribe. Um, I've seen that people commented that I've been helping them a lot with my videos. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on my page or message me or whatever. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have about guns. Um, thinking about getting either the G4 or the FX in here, so I'll get a review up on those when I save up enough money. Um, our team, Livingston Legends, may have a sponsorship with Vulcan. Uh, Vulcan, thank you for considering us, and um, I hope you choose us. You won't be disappointed. Purple Baller 14, have a good day.